Did I need more blushes? No. Did I buy two of the new blushes from Charlotte Tilbury? Yes, yes, I did. Just there are four shades all together. I bought the shade Pillow Talk. No, yeah. This is I, just a bit confusing as to why they're all called Pillow Talk, but then they have like other names as well. So, th okay. This one is the shade Pillow Talk. There. This shade is Pillow Talk Peach Pop. They could have just called them Matte Beauty Blush one. Anyway. I'm not here to get out about that. <laughs> but let me talk you about the other two shades are Pink Pop and Dream Pop. It says on the website that Pillow Talk, the shade Pillow Talk is an exclusive shade. Um, and I really like the Pillow Talk range. I really like the blushes and lipsticks and everything and liners. That's why I bought this. But I wanted to do a try on demo of these to show you them in action. When it comes to makeup demos and makeup reviews, I don't use any filters. I don't use any artificial lighting because I like you to be able to see the products in natural light on my skin. I'm filming in front of my window here. So let's get cracking. I'm on the website now. I don't have a press release. So I'm just going to give you some of the information about these if you haven't um, looked at yourself online. Um, it says that it's infused with Lumi Blur technology which are light reflecting pigments for a smoothing soft focus finish that sounds fab poreless polymers for a smoothing airbrush finish and then there are flawless film formers for a smoothing long lasting effect now when it says to apply it says apply one dot for daytime two for date and three for disco and it says that the quick drying formula sets in seconds okay i'm gonna do one on either side of my face i'll do this one on this side will i oh, yeah was filming a real show in these up close and personal so that's why I've used the applicator the applicator it's the same as the usual just messy but anyway as the twisty mechanism to open it and to lock it try to remember to lock it otherwise it's very messy so we're going to do one dot of the peach shade there that was a little bit more than one dot wasn't it okay and I'm going to use my finger to blend it out just to see what it's like so one dot is very, very sheer. Can you even see it on the camera? Let me just apply a little bit more because I used whatever was dried on the sponge applicator from earlier. Okay, there we go. I was afraid that like you waste lots of product with this. So <gasps> I probably apply too much. Start my life. It'll be fine. Oh, that's a lot of blush, but I really, really like the color all of it because there's a lot I'm going to use my finger to blend around the edges okay I don't know if it's showing up on camera hold on I just darkened it slightly so that you can see the shade properly that's gorgeous that'll be fab for the spring and the summer and you can see how smooth it is on my skin so there's no obvious sheen I really like that oh <gasps> okay we like close it Oh, see, because you have to press down the lid, you have to squeeze this part and I'm just afraid it's going to get messy in there. Anyway, I can't feel it on my skin at all, but I can feel it on my fingers. Feel it on my fingers. <laughs> Leave me alone. Let's use Pillow Talk. Let me just squeeze. Oh, I have that already open. Oh. Sugar. I was trying to show you and it got messy. <gasps> I really pressed that one blob. Okay. Wish me luck. <laughs> Ooh, this seems to have a lot more colour payoff than the other one. I can't stop bringing it up so high. Yeah, no, I definitely applied too much on that one. Just wish they would get rid of that packaging. And now, because there's so much on the little squeegee thing, now it was my fault I did squeeze out too much. Sorry, I'm not finished blending on this side. I will say it is really easy to blend out. But I need to just take my foundation brush because it just seems to be going everywhere. Because I thought for a matte finish, I was like, oh, I wonder will it be chalky or kind of like sticky? That's absolutely gorgeous on as well. I feel like there's a little bit of glow under there because the foundation that I have now has like a really kind of blurring satin matte finish so while I can't see any sheen there I can kind of see a little bit one of one here if you can see do I need to apply more there <gasps> the lid was not properly oh it's on my floor <laughs> dear Shara Tilbury I hope this finds you well could you please 
do something about that packaging. Okay, bye. Why did I apply more? Ah, no, it's grand. I didn't need to apply that, but do you know what? Gorgeous. If you apply too much blush the way I have as well, yeah, I can definitely feel it on my skin. It has like, not quite silicone feel, but I can feel, I can just feel that on my fingers now. Like it's not dry, it, the only way I can describe it, it's like a silicone rubbery feeling. And anyway, I'm just gonna take this foundation brush, there's no extra foundation on it, and I'm just blurring the edges. Now let me lighten this one for you. That help you see that one. The peach shade looked quite scary when I applied it first, but blend it out, it's really natural. And it's like a spring, like it's more of like a youthful color. Whereas this one is probably that bit more of a safe color. It's the traditional pillow talk shade, do you know? That kind of dusky pink, mauvey kind of almost undertones to it. They were 36 euro. But I felt like most of the blushes that I have are shimmery or kind of dewy looking. So I was like, oh sure, give the matte ones a go. If I didn't know that I had blush there, like if I was like this, I can't feel it on my skin, which I really like. Cause sometimes with dewy blushes, you're so wary, you don't wanna be like touching your face, you're like this. But with these, I think they're gorgeous. Now, something that has come to my attention over the last couple of years, this, this is what I do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, I just, in my head, there was a point that I wanted to make. And now that I have everything here, I'm just like, oh. So. Whenever I'm trying out new products from a range, like be it like lipstick and blush usually, I I, I have a trend, apparently. So it would appear that I go for dusky pinky shades and peachy corally shades. Will we swatch them actually? This one is um, the Charlotte one, obviously. And there. Then let's do the, this is um, the shade Hope from Rare Beauty. <gasps> okay, it's not the same. It's actually so different. Oh my God, thank God. But I do tend to go for those shades. <laughs> then let's do Peach Pop. Oh, I do it underneath. That shade just gives me such joy. Because I always think like shades like that are just really uplifting. So she who has the same. Now let's see, is this the same? Yep. Actually, sorry, now that I get closer, this one looks peachier. This one looks, this is the Rare Beauty one, looks more neon corally. Oh yeah, they're totally different. so far so good I really really like them I like the look I like the finish the application was really nice and smooth I'm enjoying the feeling on the skin it feels absolutely matte on my skin and it's good that I like them because I would have been raging if I spent 72 euro on them and waited two weeks and didn't like them but you know what I really wanted to try them out so I think over on Instagram I'm going to try them over different foundations just so that I can see if something is more glowy what do they look like but first impressions totally enjoyable except for the packaging anyway have you tried these are you going to be trying them do i need to get the other two shades tell me no but thanks a million for watching if you enjoyed this video let me know and i'll see you in next week's video why do i keep doing this it's very aggressive okay bye